I know there's a physical toll you take with this disease, but there's a big emotional toll. And that's kind of what I want to talk about right now a little bit. Just I got a couple of notes here just to help my memory. But basically what happened, my youngest son, well, not my middle son, who was 18 years old, had a detached retina, and we had no idea what that is, what that means at all. Within a few months, I, at 50 years of age, had a detached retina. And I guess what we'll ask you within two or three years, you're ready to detach, our daughter's ready to detach. So this all happened quickly, and we went to our local physicians, and all they did, you know, they repaired the retina, but we lost our vision in that eye because we lost that macula vision with, it, with that tear. And all of a sudden, we're operating with vision in one eye, myself, my son, and my daughter. And that really was scary. So to make a long story short, I just kind of went on a journey trying to figure out where we need to go to try to treat that good eye, keep it good, is what we keep saying. And our local physicians didn't give us much hope. They said, well, we'll spot laser any weak areas you see, but that's about all we can do. So again, getting back on the internet, researching, found a real reputable, uh, I guess, retina institute because this kind of was the, really the low point of our lives. Well, we thought and really were excited that we were going to get an answer, that they would do something to help us keep our good eye good so we could have a normal life. Because I'd lay awake at night just worried about my kids because all I could see is they're there in their teens and their 20s, and they're going to be blind. They're not going to be able to work. They're not going to be able to you know, read a book, watch TV. And it was just very, very, I don't know, overwhelming, you know. Met this physician, we thought we were going to get an answer, and he looked at Chris, my son, and myself and said, well, there's not a whole lot we can do, you know. It, we can, if you have a, another detachment in eye, we could laser you to try to help that, but there's not anything we could do to prevent it. And we left, Chris knows, that was the lowest point in our lives. We thought, well, we're just going to wait around till we all go blind. And, you know, it was very depressing. Chris went through some depression, and I was watching that, watching him deteriorate, and it was very, it just really hurt. My wife, myself, watched this. And then this is where I want to kind of tie the whole story and end it, was for the first time when I met Dr. Morris, you gave us hope. Because basically, instead of saying there's nothing we can do to prevent that eye, he said, look, I'm going to give you a better chance that eye is not going to detach. And here's how we're going to do it. And through a whole series of surgeries and trips up here for myself, my two sons and my daughter, and even our grandkids, uh, we all feel like now we've got a chance to really have a normal life. And that's to us meant a whole lot because we never had that before. And it's been eight years, and I know we're celebrating that, and we're excited. The good news is, to me, we get up every day, we don't even think about our eye anymore. And that's coming a long way versus when those few years when that was all we could think about, mm -hmm. you know, and worry about. 